Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Travel Bug Beast. I am long overdue to make this video. I fell so far behind on my vlogs. And I've been kind of went off the grid a little bit since I've been home for Christmas. But um, a lot has definitely changed since then. First major change then is I'm still at home in Ireland. And I'm originally actually meant to be back in Canada by now. But clearly I'm not. But this was by choice. And uh, basically I was meant to fly back to Vancouver on the 30th. Because I had booked a return flight. But it kind of came close to the 30th and I was not ready to go back. I felt like I hadn't seen everybody and I really felt like two weeks was not long enough to be home. And to be honest, I had nothing in Vancouver to go back to. I had no job, I had no house, I had nothing. And uh, basically I had booked a few nights in Victoria over the New Year's. But then I was kind of thinking, what's the point in spending New Year's all by myself? Because all my friends were in Whistler, it was just too expensive to spend New Year's there. So I made a decision, then I decided to purposely miss my flight back to Vancouver and spend a bit more time here at home. But don't worry, that's not the end of my Canada days. I am heading back to Canada next week actually, but this time I'm going to Toronto, which is on the other side of Canada. And um, I'm still not fully sure of the plan there yet. I'm kind of half thinking, do I backpack it till I run out of money or do I work there for a little bit and then save up for other adventures? So I'm kind of hymning and hawing about it. I think I might just try and do both, but I'm not fully sure yet. I'm also thinking I spent so much time and effort and money on this working visa and I kind of feel like five months out of two years is not really long enough. So I need to kind of make the most of it. So I am going back to Toronto next week and uh, I'm really excited to explore that side of Canada and I'm hoping to gradually make my way back across towards Vancouver. Hopefully maybe see everybody in Whistler again, maybe go to Victoria. Who knows what this year will bring. The last three months of last year was a bit of a mad one. In the space of the three months I've been to Seattle, LA, Orlando and I flew back home as well. And I kind of got to a stage where I fell so far behind on my videos that I really couldn't catch up and even though I've been spending so much time here at home and enjoying my time here and actually just taking a break. So I kind of went unintentionally off the grid. I was hoping to get a lot of work done here at home. That didn't happen. So, but I am going to try and get back into it as well. I got a new laptop, so everything is a fresh brand new setup and um, kind of the creative juices are coming again. So there'll be a lot more content coming your way very soon. So I'm hoping to do a couple of videos in Toronto and then of course I'm going down to Niagara Falls as well. That from there kind of the plan is uncertain at the minute but I'm kind of just going with the flow and see what happens. I want to go to Ottawa, I want to go to Prince Edward Island, over towards Nova Scotia and also make my way across towards, um, towards Montreal, Banff and then back to Vancouver. I do have it in my head that I want to come back to Europe, maybe Interrail for a little bit but also I'm half thinking as well about going somewhere else completely new. I really don't know, it's just this whole year is not planned. There's no trips planned and everything is just uncertain but sometimes that's not a bad thing and I'm going to just go with it and see where this year takes me. I am also hoping to start up a blog this year. I've been talking about it for months and hadn't really gotten around to it. I had tried to write up a few sample posts, but I don't actually, I'm trying to figure out on how to get started on that. So if it is something that you're interested in or if it's something that you currently do, give us some tips or anything like that. You can t contact me via a private message on my social medias or leave a comment down below. So this year I'm really kind of taking it as a go with the flow kind of year and uh, kind of see where it takes me because who knows where this year will take me. Also my New Year's resolution is to be a bit more decisive as well which at the minute I'm kind of struggling with but as the year goes on I'm going to make more definite decisions and um, should be a really good year. So that's just a quick little update video. So sorry I haven't been in touch really, but I'm still active on my social medias, mainly on Instagram and Twitter. The links are down below in the description if you want to check them out. I hope you had a really nice Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope you had a good one and I hope you're having a great new year so far. Oh, before I forget as well, I just wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I know I haven't really been too consistent with my videos, but at the end of last year, I had hit a massive goal of 100 subscribers, which doesn't seem a lot to some people, but it does to me. I've been two years trying to get this goal, and I finally reached it. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who subscribed. So I'm really hoping to set a goal of 200 subscribers by the end of 2020, so, Fingers crossed we get that, so if you can help out and subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate it. Also because this year is such a blank space as well, if you have any ideas on videos you would like to see on this channel, let me know, either contact me through social media or leave a comment down below. So I'm going to shut up now, love you and leave you, and I hope to see you for the next video soon. Bye.